Welcome to Wrestling Jeopardy. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and it's time to play the game. So let's go to the board and see what categories you'll be quizzed on in this episode. Starting off with Irish nicknames, followed by leprechauns, Irish eyes, Seamus's signature moves, and last but certainly not least, Irish events. And yes, this is a special St. Paddy's Day Wrestling Jeopardy. So raise a pint and may the luck of the Irish be with you. Huh, I'm nervous. Let's kick things off with Irish nicknames for 200. Who is the Celtic warrior? Who? 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 And the correct answer is everybody's favorite ginger, Seamus. Because you're a ginger. On to wee little leprechauns for 200. The months-long storyline to reveal Vince McMahon's illegitimate son ended with this little leprechaun jumping for joy. Now obviously it should have been Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy! But the correct answer is, who is Hornswoggle? Mr. McMahon's son is Hornswoggle! Here comes Irish Eyes for 200. This lad may have the looks of a prince, but sometimes he has the split personality of a demon. And the correct answer, who is Finn Balor? And I'm confident enough in my sexuality to say that Finn is one handsome fella. Dude. Which brings us to our next category for 200. Name this Seamus signature move. And the correct answer, what is the brogue kick? And closing out the 200 point round with Irish events, during a 2022 episode of SmackDown, these two wrestlers fought in a good old fashioned Donnybrook match to determine who would face Roman Reigns at Clash at the Castle. And the answer we're looking for, who is Sheamus and Drew McIntyre? All right, you made it through the first round. Hopefully you went five for five and got yourself a thousand points. Nice. Now we're on to the 400 point round, starting with Irish nicknames. Who is the Irish last kicker? Who? 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 And the correct answer, big time Bex the man, Becky Lynch. Here we go over to Leprechauns for 400. Eventually, Hornswoggle was revealed not to be Mr. McMahon's son, but rather the offspring of this Irish wrestler who loved to fight. And the correct answer, who is Finley? Moving on now to Irish Eyes for 400, this lass bested Becky Lynch to win her first NXT Women's Championship at 2023's Halloween Havoc. And the correct answer, who is Lyra Valkyria? On to the next category for 400. Name this Seamus signature move. And the correct answer, what are the 10 beats of the Badran? Closing out the 400 point round with Irish events. In the main event of this special edition of AEW Dynamite, Thunder Rosa defeated Dr. Britt Baker DMD in a brutal lights out match. And the answer we're looking for, what is the St. Patrick's Day Slam? On to the 600 point round with Irish nicknames, who is the Beast of Belfast? Who? 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 And the correct answer, who is Killian Dane? Moving on to Leprechauns for 600, while in storyline, Hornswoggle was the son of Finley. In real life, this New Japan star is his son. And the correct answer we're looking for, who is David Finley? On to Irish Eyes for 600. This fiery lass claimed gold when she defeated the fabulous Moolah for the WWF Women's Championship in July of 1986. And the correct answer, who is Velvet McIntyre? And we're on to the 600 point clue. Name this Seamus signature move. 
Inspired by the man of a thousand holds, Dean Malenko, the correct answer we're looking for, what is the clover leaf? And we end the 600 point round with Irish events. At WrestleMania 24, Finley battled JBL in a match where anything and everything goes called this. And the correct answer, what is a Belfast brawl? All right, 15 down, 10 to go. If you like what you see so far, make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up. And we'll continue on to the 800 point round with Irish nicknames. Who is the Irish ace? Who? 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 And the correct answer, who is JD McDonough? Look at the size of that boy's head. Shh. I'm not kidding, it's like an orange on a toothpick. Shh, you gotta give the boy a complex. Well, that's a huge noggin. On to Leprechauns for 800. What is the name of Hornswoggle's WWE entrance theme music? Kind of a tough one, but it relates to Vince McMahon being his father. The correct answer is, he's my da. Get it? He's my da. Gotti! Gotti! <laughs> Alright, moving on. Irish Eyes for 800. This former ECW wrestler embraced his heritage and began using his real name when he wrestled for TNA. Alright, I would have accepted two answers here. In ECW, he was called Simon Diamond, and in TNA, he was called Irish Pat Kenny. All right, let's move on to the 800 point clue. Name this Seamus signature move. A modified razor's edge. The correct answer is, what is the Celtic cross? And we close out the 800 point round. In the formative years of NXT, this Florida Gator won an all-star rookie St. Patrick's Day keg carry challenge. Correct answer. <laughs> Who is Titus O'Neil? All right, we've made it to the most difficult part of this special Irish wrestling jeopardy. It's the 1,000 point round. The steel cage begins to lower. The ominous music starts to play. I should probably play some uh, Irish music this time around. And you know what? I'll probably do that. Let me give me a second. Let me hit this. Too many lies. Too many lies. All right, let's move on to Irish nicknames for 1,000. Who is the Duke of Dorchester? Who? 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 Nothing like a good old WWF old school jobber. The correct answer we're looking for, who is Pete Doherty? And we'll close out Leprechauns for 1,000. Longtime WCW fans will remember Sergeant Buddy Lee Parker as one half of the State Patrol but he also wrestled as this diminutive member of the Dungeon of Doom. I might have to do an entire Jeopardy on the Dungeon of Doom characters. Tell me you didn't just say that, sucker! But the correct answer we're looking for, who is Brawn the Leprechaun? <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you what, they unleash him from the Dungeon of Doom. Oh man, slobbing and a snorting, look at him. Ron the Leprechaun. And we're on to Irish Eyes for 1,000. The majority of this WWF jobber's career was spent losing to superstars like Bret Hart, the British Bulldog, and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I've been watching a little bit too much WWF superstars on the Peacock Network. The correct answer we're looking for, who is the Dublin Destroyer? <laughs> Are you serious? All right, in closing out this category for 1,000, name this Seamus signature move. And the correct answer, what is the Irish curse? And we're on to the final clue from Irish events for 1,000. During an NWA TNA pay-per-view in 2004, the aforementioned Irish Pat Kenny battled Big Vito in a special match called this. Very, very rare match here. The correct answer we're looking for, what is a Luck of the Irish weapons match? The following contest 
contest is a look at the Irish weapons match. All right, you did it. 25 questions down. Final Jeopardy to go. How did you do? Good? Bad? Ugly? Well, like I always say, Fill me once, shame on you. Fill me twice. You're begging for a kick up the arse. So are you ready to see the final Jeopardy category and possibly bet it all to get that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Let's see what the category is. What a maneuver. This obviously pertains to any sort of wrestling move. So think about that while you write down your wager. All right, time is up. Let's take a look at the final clue of this special St. Paddy's Day Wrestling Jeopardy. Irish professional wrestler Dano O'Mahony used this slingshot maneuver to win multiple major titles in the 1930s. Good luck. Irish professional wrestler Dano O'Mahony used this slingshot maneuver to win multiple major titles in the 1930s. How apropos, since it is Irish Jeopardy, the correct answer is the Irish Whip. And that does it for this episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. Hope you had a great time. Hope you scored well. If you did, put your uh, score in the comments below and also give this video a massive thumbs up. I super appreciate that. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.